There's quite a bit of public housing in uh, rural and small towns. Uh, uh -huh. I think there are more <coughs> housing authorities, obviously not the number of units. But any thoughts on the role of uh, public housing in rural America? Our, our experience has been that when you go to rural areas, unlike many urban areas, not all urban areas, it's usually the best housing in the area. But any thoughts about public housing in, in rural yeah. communities? Um, yeah, for my first thought is very um, necessary. <laughs> A lot of times people think of public housing and the first thing that you think about are these, these urban communities, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the inner city public housing projects. People think of the old Cabrini Green, for instance, in Chicago. That's the image uh, that comes to mind. But I have seen already uh, how necessary the investments are to improving people's lives in rural communities. And, and I met with um, some of the smaller housing authority directors, uh, gosh, I guess about three weeks ago, uh, and talked about how can we make their life easier in terms of meeting their goals. Oftentimes, the regulations that we would subject the bigger housing authorities <coughs> to simply overwhelm <coughs> the smaller housing authorities. So how do we find a good balance that protects tenants, that meets their needs, but also allows these smaller housing authorities uh, to use their time, energy, and resources actually making it happen for people instead of you know, filing another report that, that doesn't necessarily get as much down the road. So we're looking at, uh, at how we can create that balance at HUD. Mm -hmm. 